Hi friends. It's November's Ipsy. Let's see what we got. How exciting, right? I did get like three add-ons that I thought were good prices at the $3 range. We should probably do those last though. Um, this is this month's bag. It's much cuter than I had um, thought it would be when I was just looking at other pictures online. It is like a, a blue velvet. You know, I don't hate it <laughs> like some months. Um, okay, so this month when I checked in on it, um, they had picked out for me, it's called BFF Best Face Forward. And it is a face serum, balancing serum with niacinamide, AHA, BHA, AHA, oil-free hydration. It's worth $39. It's 30 mLs. It says it's the fast-acting serum your skin will love. Plus, it's bad for acne-prone skins, which I'm not. Um, it uses a blend of alpha hydroxys and beta hydroxys to help sweep away dead skin cells and clog pores. Aloe vera to help soothe redness. Hyaluronic acid to lightly hydrate and niacinamide for damage control. Use it morning and night. So, you know, it's definitely worth a try. And then the second thing they had picked for me was this set of three nail polishes. Um, it said it's a $15 value. And you'll love this ultra shiny beige shimmer, dark honey, and burgundy nail polishes. Now, they've had this a few months because I remember a different month when they picked a different nail polish out for me to be in my choices. I thought it was like a, you know, beigey, baby pink color. And in the quiz, I had marked only like glitters and however it's put adventurous colors or something for nails. And I thought pale baby pink doesn't quite seem adventurous to me, but, um, I thought I'd seen other people with these, and if I was going to get a choice of nail polishes, I thought at least they should have been these colors. They seem, in a weird way, adventurous. I mean, it certainly wouldn't if it was alone, because, yeah, it's kind of a golden tan. It's, you know, someone's skin color. And this one is a pale vanilla. And this one is kind of a dusty mauve yeah um, but when you see them together for some reason it makes them look more fun like I would definitely only wear them if I was wearing all three colors together like you know different nails at different colors because otherwise alone they'd be kind of boring but you know paraben free and cruelty free and free of all the things that they say is bad for you to have in your nail polishes so $15 it's all right for my first choice, there were actually three things in the categories that I would have liked um, because I picked this Lash Serum, the Lash Treats, because I do like to have a Lash Serum at all times and I felt like I had just opened my you know, last new one. So I would hate to run out and have to actually spend like 60 or $70 on a Lash Serum. So even though they did give me two eyeshadow palettes, the Violet Voss one, which I think is pretty, and the Nomad one, which I think is pretty, I still felt like I really don't need eyeshadow palettes. I do have plenty. Um, and this is something that I would want to purchase if I ran out of. However, it is a much tinier little um, bottle than the ones that I've had lately. So, you know, maybe it's just packaging and the other bottles just look bigger and there's the same amount. The other two items I could have picked um, was the um, Yensa Beauty Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Face Cream. I'm sure that's nice too. And then the same boring nail polish color that I'd been offered many different months. So that wasn't super exciting. For the next category, Option number two, I didn't really like anything, honestly. Um, there was three sponges, and I don't use beauty blenders. Um, there was a uh, pink blush uh, set of three lashes, and this um, complex culture uh, hairbrush. And it did look nice. Um, it looks a lot like my um, like wet brushes that I like 
to use. Like it, they both have, you know, the little plastic nubbies at the top and the little bristles down below. And my wet brush is wonderful. Um, it's got a little, little hair action coming out. I should probably clean it. But, um, and my daughters also like these brushes. It, I believe it said that it was worth like $28 which seems ridiculous. Even my, you know, wet brush is maybe eight to 13 or something. Um, and I think it's great. So yeah, I don't know. I will have to decide if I'm going to keep it and spoil myself or give it to one of my daughters as a Christmas present and spoil her because it should be a nice brush. Not needed, certainly not worth $28, but a nice brush. And you know, I, in essence, only paid like $5 for it. I guess more than because I forgot Ipsy went up and it's no longer $25. It's 28 plus tax. Category three. I also didn't really think that there was anything great. So I got a mascara because I mean, eventually I'm going to need a mascara. Um, the other things were scrunchies, which I don't know, for some reason to me, a scrunchie set seems like it's worth about a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And I have bought some from Ipsy before and they didn't seem much different quality to me in my opinion. Um, a brow tint, um, However, it was also in light, and I'm not somebody who would wear light eyebrows. Um, and some rejuvenating masks, or this Thrive Mascara, which was a $24 value, curls and lengthens, and in a single swipe. So I hope I like it. The picture on the back looks like she's got good lashes, so I'm certain it's going to be perfectly lovely. For my add-ons, I got this green eyeliner that was full size. They said it was worth $27 and I got it for three. And I thought a um, green liquid highlighter sounded like fun. Um, and it is a very dark, pretty green. I think I'm going to like that, especially for $3. And this Bella Argent $16 eyeshadow brush, which also was $3. And I think that looks like a nice brush. I definitely am going to like that. And since I didn't pick any of the eyeshadows, I did think this Hip Dot Mystic Glitter Balm Trio in Green Dream Catcher Silhouette and Blossom looked really pretty in the pictures. And, you know, I do like glitters. I put it on for this video and I hate it. Um, I think it's ridiculous looking and the black glitter is gross. I've never had actually a glitter that I didn't like. Um, and this one I think looks like tar and it doesn't, it doesn't do a nice like light glitter effect. If I just, you know, like tap into it, um, you know, and tap it on. And it certainly doesn't do a like thick, heavy glitter effect. If I like, you know, try to swatch it and do it on, I did it with, glitter primer. Um, I think it looks terrible. Um, I literally think it looks like tar on my eyelids. Um, and it was crappy. The other two colors I thought were pretty until I did the black over it. Um, I thought they blended nice and looked good, but oh, this, this black is a ridiculous mess. So here are the other two colors. Um, yeah, I can't really even imagine playing in this black again. Sometimes I think, oh, well, you know, I did something different enough that I'll give it another shot. Um, I worked with this <laughs> for, you know, a good while trying to get it to become something. And I would love to see what other people do with this because to me, it's crazy. And then also in my box, um, I did use points. I think it was like 1800 points for this hip dot, um, sun goddess face palette. Didn't need a face palette, but this is pretty. It could be a nice Christmas present. And because I look to probably quit Ipsy soon, I didn't want to have all these points just left out there and not use them. So I do think saving them up and getting one of the bigger things with the 1800 points always seems a little nicer than the things that they offer for like, you know, five or 600 points for like a little base sample. So, I mean, I do think that they're, they're pretty. 
I would use them if I didn't have a lot of other blushes that I feel like this would go to waste then on me because I have so many others. Otherwise, I do think that's pretty. So all in all, I think they told me that it was worth like $217, which I think they always include the extras, you know, the add-ons that I buy in that bigger price. Um, and really my, my $3 add-ons were worth more than some of the products that they, you know, picked for me. Like, you know, them saying that this was, apparently I didn't put that lid on. <laughs> um, they said that this was, you know, $17, but the nail polishes were only $15. be careful of that it doesn't like really snap or anything okay okay um that's all that's my ipsy for november 2021 and um i would love actually to hear if anybody else picked up this hip dot palette and if you've used it and played with it yet and what you think of the black tar because i would love to hear people say that they used it and liked it and that i should give it another chance because again in the in the little palette i think that looks so pretty like i think i thought oh that could be such a pretty like smoky glittery look but it doesn't even look glittery to me it really just looks nasty okay thanks for stopping by my channel thanks for joining me thanks for sticking it out to the end and everything else that would be a kind thing to say and bye <laughs>